Hello there, everybody. Welcome to my first match of League Season 47 here against Akuchi. It would appear that we've rolled a Lurker Cultist board. <laughs> that is what I can ascertain so far. What else can you do? I mean, that's just an interaction that draws you cards, and then you, I guess, move on to some other stuff. Draws you cards and gains you cultists. I guess you just go ahead and do double lurker. I don't know. Um, you don't have to, I guess. Uh, we do have buy, though it's capital, so it's on the weaker side. But plenty of villages. Um... So, anyway, uh, they open with the silver. This is one of those where you wonder, do they see it and say, um, so you can just buy ghost towns as you go along. I think I'm in on Double Lurker. I don't know if that's the play, but... Jack is okay-ish too. Storyteller looks viable later on. Trade the runes go. I mean, it, a lot of this stuff I'm talking about may not happen just because the piles disappear. So. Hard to say, but. But there's a few different things you can do. <clears throat> Your opening can certainly be like the, the the silver was pretty weird. I do wonder how much time you have to build if they start scoring and the piles are low. I mean, they can probably. <clears throat> I guess a lot of that depends on the number of lurkers we gain, actually. Trade just doesn't seem that compelling to me at this point. We'll gain one of these. We could either do Ghost Town or we could do Port, but probably Ghost Town's a little nicer. I could have trashed, I guess, another cultist, but or it would have been reasonable. This is not great if we don't find something. <laughs> I mean, again, they would be able to buy provinces. <clears throat> For sure. Um, if they trade away stuff, but... 
So this here can either be another, yet another ghost town. They're different. I mean, there are a few different things that could be gained here. But. <clears throat> They're just going to take all the ruins. Just doesn't seem great. Um <clears throat> I can probably use a capital. The silver opening, I don't, I just don't get the silver, but maybe I didn't see lurker. <laughs> I don't know. That's happened to me before for sure. Uh, probably one. This one's trashing a cultist anyway. There's a chance to chain. Okay, we didn't get to the second one or the ghost town. Actually, this was pretty awful bottom decking, but. I suppose that's just sort of how it goes. Um, <clears throat> that's really sad, especially the ghost town. So we could have a state lurker ghost. I mean, okay. But I mean, it's not necessarily unlikely. It's just, you know, sad. Um, I don't know if that was correct. They're just gonna, they don't have draw. <laughs> they don't really have three pile threat either. I mean, of course the cultists in the rune markets are going, or the runes and the cultists are going to run. Um, but beyond that, it's, they're not really in a position to do their piles. They can shift a little bit here on this buy, but. They're looking at a shuffle that has four runes in it and no real draw. <clears throat> That's a little weird, but mm. could have been worse. <laughs> How much do I have? Five, but I don't have. Okay. Here's what we'll do. We'll just buy the cultist so that they can't play the lurker on it. Do we go double ghost town now? <clears throat> There's eight cultists down in here. We could buy another one. Not ideal, but I think we'd do it to have a better turn here. <laughs> A 
well, a little bit of a better, not, not the greatest turn. <clears throat> um... Yeah, this is this is all totally fine for me. That's a bit of an understatement. I'm one unless I completely blow it. <clears throat> um. Hmm, treasure. I can probably hold a silver, right? Well, I mean, it costs me some in debt, of course. It pays it back eventually, but not right away. Um... When did they buy a province? Maybe we don't... Okay. <laughs> All right, that's fair. That's totally fair. Uh, <clears throat> okay, so... Legionary can do a little bit here, though. But anyway, there's just a couple of reasons to get gold. Um, you can do, you can get to four. Well, you can. I guess you can get. You can open double four, like actual double four. You can also open engineer plus four. Um, I don't know what it does for you exactly. Trying to think that through. Um, obviously, just getting pixies gives you probably better chance at trashing a little faster. But You don't have to go through the engineer if you're not, you know, if there's tomb, then there'd be in incentive to do that, but you could still just go like Pixie Jack. I don't know. What's the best way to just get to five? You can just have Pixies, <laughs> buy pick, buy Legionary, and then you'll hit four somewhere, and then you can buy Worker's Village. I mean, if you keep the engineer, it's not crazy, I guess. I I bought a card. I'm getting some maybe internet dropped. I don't know. I guess I'm still on Discord. The green light's still flashing.
I don't know my, uh... I appear to still have internet. Now I'm getting spinning castle. Now I'm back. Okay. I don't know. I don't know what happened there. I didn't look like it froze for him. Beats me. I guess you can march the pixie here. A lot of things are not too nice. Um, <clears throat> I could, um, March an engineer here. I'll do this. This seems reasonable. Uh, yeah, let's blow this up. Okay. You didn't draw the gold. A little sad, but fine. In the end, probably fine. We get another trash here quicker. There's something to be said for putting a worker's village into this shuffle. But there's also something to be said for putting a gold in. I could put both in. Not a gold, but an, an encampment, rather. <clears throat> this one isn't great. First gift's nice. Well, I mean, depends. Probably nice. <clears throat> I can still afford legionary here. It should be ahead, just the first player in the. I've Got decent boons. Trash quicker. Half the gold. They're a ways off from that. Quite a ways off, actually. <clears throat> I mean, they can get encampments and draw six doll. Well, they don't have... Eh, it's not that easy. Get a bunch of pixies. <clears throat> Even if we unpair goal or legionary here it's okay we'll just still pick up two encampments in the workers village <clears throat> or three encampments whatever we don't have to get a workers village I think it's 
I mean, this is fine to shuffle. It's like buy. It's a little sad re with respect to the buy, but not not really. It's it's totally fine. The actual here's what we'll draw because this is the worst draw. Is probably the goat. I mean, they get an engineer. I think I'm fine with them messing around with Jack. Like it mitigates the. Uh, <clears throat> It can mitigate some stuff, but um, see, I can speak. I can speak almost. I would say basically almost anything into existence. Um, let's still keep the engineer for now. Um, let's get two encampments. This is still like fine. We're way ahead in here. Look, we got a really nice. Reshuffle of the encampment. They got a nice set of boons here. I am a little surprised they didn't take River, but I guess they know they're getting um, legionary, and then River is not very good. So that makes some sense. <clears throat> they could like get all the encampments here, but um, which is a reasonable thing to do. They go for a plunder um, over a gold, which is not you know, crazy or anything, but. <clears throat> Maybe they'll play like the, uh, like Lord Raddington or the Temple Gates bot and I'll get vaults. I'll get three vaults and they'll be I'll play the legionary, then three vaults, zero card hand, every turn. <clears throat> um. Oh, I thought I had, well, whatever. Pixie's still probably better than Worker's Village. I don't really need more Worker's Villages. I do find the plunder buy a little odd. I don't know if their plan is just to never... I think the Silvers are going to become a bit of a problem. Unless they get Forge or something. Forge or Research, I guess, could can do something for them there. Um, probably I should have got vault instead of plunder on my turn. Gone, gone vault pixie, but it's okay. I hope the silvers become a problem anyway. I don't know that they will, but. Okay. This is still. Well, it's pretty bad because we basically just have to. Pass the next turn. I mean, we can't play these. I guess unless we get a sun's gift, then we could, then we'll be able to get it. Never. Oh, and they're losing an encampment right off. Okay. If we get sun's gift or a uh, moon's gift, we still play on. But otherwise, it's a little bit of a problem. <coughs> Man, well, we're not getting suns. It's a real shame. Mm. 
We do get one of the encampments back. And like, I don't know what else. Moon is still in there, I think. I actually haven't paid attention to all the pixie plays. So I don't really know. Oh, they had Jack too. This is nice. <clears throat> this is all really nice. Wisp is there because I think someone would have popped Wisp. Um. <coughs> I've got something in my throat. I don't know. I don't know. I still feel like I'm turns ahead. But maybe I'm wrong. Get a forge. Uh, we'll go ahead and get that. Do we want that? Well, yeah, we got to I mean, yeah. <coughs> um. We could get another engineer. I don't know that that's worth it. Or rather, I expect it's definitely not worth it. Uh, I mean, if he has a real turn here. Um, then we're in... Um, maybe not trouble, but there's some, just cause it'll mean extending the points lead and <clears throat> but anyway, I can still do like Island province stuff pretty easily. I still have more just money than them, I think. Well, actually, with the silvers, I don't know that's true. I don't know if they can draw them, though, in general. Okay, so they're not going anywhere this turn. They just don't have a gold, so um, this is really good that this is all they do here. I don't know when you play Wisp, actually. You just play it whenever it is lucky. I would simply be lucky. Um. <coughs> Jeez. What is the last one, Moon? It was Moon, okay. Well... So there's goat and I guess another, I'm not sure. I'm trying to think if we do an island now and just set aside a copper. Gotta count the money. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten 10 is probably a little better. <coughs> oh, you got more than that though. Thirteen potentially. I guess you do this before the or after the legionary, actually, but whatever. Um, then you just don't play the legionary, right? Okay. 
So we put the worker's village in here on the off chance that we did bottom deck it. Right. <clears throat> this, I guess, gives them a little additional filtering. I don't know that it mattered, but... One, two, three, so 11. If we go for 13, we can go... Hmm. We can go province plunder. Or we could go province vault. Or plunder vault. I don't know if they'll be able to like get a gold this turn as well. No, okay, this is nothing. Uh, oh, we don't need it. I mean, there's some chance we overdraw and then we get to maybe gain an island, set aside the province right away. I don't actually know if we have enough draw for that. Okay. Uh, I mean, we're probably not getting a better thing out of the pixie than that. Um... Oh, we only have 12 anyway. Okay. Um. I probably could have tossed one if I had known. We could double vault here. <clears throat> How close are we to emptying something? Not really that close. I mean, if we bind engineer, there's a shot of doing it on the workers' villages. Though if the encampments don't activate, then that's a little sad. Yeah, this is this is great. Oh yeah, we have the uh, we have the. I don't know that they can still get a gold and maybe there's a world where they forge in silvers into gold and they get in they legionary. That would you know, that would be a real pain here, but <clears throat> But if they don't do that then I'm for sure just winning right now. Um maybe they can do that, but uh, I don't think Jack played now is going to cut it. All right, we can pile out. We probably have enough money with the vault to do the islands, actually. Um, the workers' villages, of course, are less money. But if there were a points issue, we could be doing the islands too actually we can get to twelve dollars with the vault just from this the high hand size here at the start
All right. Uh, I don't remember the openings now. I mean, I I got boons that helped me a lot for sure. Um, okay. Uh, this is. Just <clears throat> I guess you could try to do hideout, but what does the druid have? Yeah. I think you go delve, delve druid, and guild hall. It's not clear that you should take. It's not clear you should take Druid over just another silver, to be honest. <clears throat> I guess the question is whether you get any mileage out of lookouts or storerooms, or a question, whether you get any mileage out of storms or lookouts. Probably with really good shuffles, like you can make an engine, but it would take really good shuffles. Aku goes for the storeroom. I mean, I think that's probably reasonable. Um, because it's gonna get you at least a four dollars and you cycle, which is probably pretty nice. It's really big to, yeah, if you can get the guild hall before the shuffle. I mean, the shuffle isn't, it's mostly just getting it earlier. I mean, the, the. I mean, they're not, not that they had a good shuffle. They didn't have a good shuffle. Neither of us did, but. Um, they didn't have to go right up to the end of their shuffle. I wonder why they didn't go to the end of their shuffle. It's a little confusing to me, but anyway. Um, I don't think a copper is worth a coffer. I'm not sure on that, but... Yeah, and then we do this. I may take one. I don't know. This is hard. This is pretty... Uh, Pretty unclear to me in general. <clears throat> I don't know how many coffers you take before you're just all in on green. And also like spending versus keeping, I don't know. Uh, they're probably all in. I mean, they get two coffers here, six coffers going into the shuffle. They probably just green. So the question is just whether I'll be. I can. I can go with five. I can not trigger. Is probably the play. And I can do something similar. We basically are playing mirrored stuff. Um, and probably... 
probably it's just going to come down to who may just be an easy tie or maybe something awful like, oh, I drew my story <laughs> at the right moment could could quite easily become something like that. Um, nobody has just need Dutchy Copper, I guess. I don't know. I mean, you can <clears throat> Yeah, you can do that too. Right, you spend one. Yeah, 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 you spend one there, but um Obviously, I can't go for it. <laughs> that would just be losing. Um, mm, this is really nice, actually. Um, <clears throat> maybe. I guess I don't know that it's really nice yet, but I could try to and oh, that doesn't make any sense. Now I guess what would be bad is if they can double Dutchy. Or Duchy Estate, I guess. Well, Duchy, yeah, Duchy Estate can do it too. Or if they can get to a point where they can double. Um, Yeah, yeah, yeah. They can do the store room and then. Well, double state. I don't know if they still have enough for a province. Um. <clears throat> My store room, of course, is long gone. just depends on how much money they have in the hand with the storeroom. I mean, they have at least four, so they can double a stay for sure. Um, now, if they've bottom decked it, they should just delve, delve the stay and wait for this. They know I've played the storm. They're going to get that. It's basically going to be first player. Um, they can build up enough coffers in the interim here. Just go Delft, Delft Estate. It's pretty free, I think. Yeah, like I... Don't think there's any world I can win. They're gonna have the the turn to go. I mean, it can take them a little while to get the money, I guess, but 
Maybe I needed to go for province. But it looked kind of bad. Where where could I have gone for it? I guess here, but that would have lost. Yeah, there's like no out for me now. Because I can't buy province. That's This is just lost. Unfortunately... It's not exactly first player, but it's sort of first player. I mean, it could take them a little time to get the money back up to buy the last province, but in the meantime, they're going to be able to buy the estates. So um, I have to draw my storeroom before they get back to province, which is, you know. And I have to buy estates in the meantime. I can't not buy estates. And I have to delve over and over again as long as I have a reasonable number since I want to draw the storeroom sooner. Um, so, like, that's a... I guess that's a question of how many. Well, the storm guarantees ten, so I'd only or guarantees four bucks, so I don't I don't need more than six. So I should only take one estate. And then I have to draw the storm before they get back up to eight again. Now I can buy Dells after the reshuffle, but That was interesting. Well, it was awful, but it was interesting in a awful, kind of awful way. The greening, I mean, it was sort of funny. I don't, I don't know. Maybe there was a mistake, and I should have done a certain point differently. I'm not sure there was really a spot where buying province made sense, but playing it the way I did, and maybe it was just doomed regardless. Maybe, But the province seems like it might give some out. And that the way I played it does not look like there's really an out. Um, <clears throat> not much of one anyway. We're not we're getting weird boards, sort of weird boards. So I mean, you can talisman here, of course. There's still just not a like a huge amount of gains, though like probably it works. Don't know. Like talisman, you buy like envoy a, a pair of envoys once, a pair of farming villages, a pair of ghost towns, and a pair of bishops, and then you're all in on green. I mean, there's not a lot else going on to be honest so it's probably something to be able to play bishop consistently I don't know if I take a ghost town or take a silver, maybe one silver.
it's of course not super clear that you won't lose to somebody and just bind provinces quickly. <clears throat> I guess once you're, if you're really going, eventually your bishops can score a lot, but it's pretty awkward. Run through the potions or something. Make it a second talisman. You, you definitely would just be fighting a deck that can just Fortunately, enhanced as a mill provinces, but this is bad, fairly bad. It's a draw. Um, really hope the talisman doesn't miss as well, but if it does, then I guess that's the world we're living in. Then the ghost town becomes especially sad because there's nothing in the nothing useful in the shuffle either. The buys can go really <laughs> the buys and the draws can go really, really bad here quite easily. I did get the talisman, thank goodness. I don't know what I buy though. Um, can just be more talismans, I suppose. It gives me an embassy. Maybe they didn't find their talisman. Maybe we had basically the same shovel, only they fully bottom decked the talismans, and I didn't. Um, I think I'm going to get Farming Village here. This deck is... These decks are weird, to be sure. <clears throat> well, probably three pile. There's like some world where you want to go. This was literally the best possible hand to draw. Um, their embassy will do good work for sure. Because I'll get a estate off an envoy and then. So we probably go. Ghost towns this time. Depends a bit on what we see, but there's, I guess there's a world, I mean, I guess there's something to be said for just taking three envoys again, uh, but probably it's embassy, or probably it's ghost town. They're going to have a hard time, just the one talisman, to be honest. Even if they just green. Um, so they go ghost towns. I think I can probably... I'm 
not really too torn up about them trashing copper estate or whatever. I guess I could have, well, they probably would have got back around to it. Could have tossed a talisman. That may have made more sense. Though this is on a, I don't know. I would, I did three ghost towns just so we couldn't bottom deck the envoy. You know. I'll probably take Envoys this time. I'm not sure exactly what I'll have, of course. Well, I'll have at least one Talisman, so at least two Envoys. I guess there's a risk if we don't find Ghost Towns. I don't know, my, my hand could go... It could get stopped in a fairly painful way. I'm not doing this. See, this is the best possible draw, basically. Because now it's like, do you give me more gains? Do you give me, you know, what I. And I still got the ghost town. There's a. Um. I got the ghost town to play. There's a farming village in the bottom too. So like, yes, this will probably be, uh, have some village issues. Um, but I guess we can, try and force them to draw the talisman. They don't need action. Okay, well. They'll probably get there. They still have a farming village, so. Yeah, they can just. I do still have a little bit of a points lead. I can I can continue to use get some number of farming villages here. We'll play one invoy. Well, if they're deck tracking, they know I have a farming village, but well, maybe not no no, but pretty likely. Um, but we'll still play one invoy blind. I mean, they're gonna toss villages, but. They can't really toss the ghost town. So we can either... <clears throat> Let's get another envoy and see if we can get... See what they toss. Okay, ghost town. I don't know, this may be a lot of the envoys. Not really sure. Okay, yeah, it's a pretty bad draw. <clears throat> I mean, this is bad enough. This is bad enough that it could just lose on the spot. Well, it won't lose on the spot. There's, I still have some play, but that's sort of miraculous. They'll toss the farming village, of course, but um. I mean, we might as well try and... Well, okay. <laughs> we didn't get anything out of that one, but... That's just... 
the talisman life, I suppose. Now we don't have the invoice. That was a yikes of a draw there. We could have had it on top, but we'll see. They also should miss eventually, I would think, but I could be wrong. Okay, here they miss a little bit. They can also work on lowering, though it takes at least four buys to low to empty, so that's not like that awesome. Okay, so they're gonna make it next turn. This is just a nothing for me. This is totally likely to fully dud. I have not had the draws here. I mean, obviously my deck's like a huge mess, but this is still like worse than I think on average you'd expect. Um, I mean, this doesn't matter. They're going to get to... I discard and then they still get, yeah. It's like, I don't even know. All right, that's incredible. <laughs> Just lets them get two more ghost hounds down this turn by this incredibly bizarre farming village. That's infuriating, actually. Two farming villages, nope. Well, at least there's a ghost town. We just have to keep on trucking, as they say. They don't say that, but. I could buy an embassy. Okay, we go maybe a little bit of somewhere this time. At least we have um, a little bit of ambiguity that that time. Now they've top decked an embassy. That's what I've done for them there. At least there's a little bit of ambiguity here. <clears throat> Is this when we start having turns? The scepter is nice. Oh, I got a... <laughs> That was a huge blunder, of course. <clears throat> I needed to play the bishop, and that was just stupid of me. Um, so I didn't get thinned at all. I do get to play two ghost towns. But I didn't get thinned at all. That was a, just a massive dumb play. Massively dumb play. I can draw more. I mean, I can draw probably everything but one card. Um, I don't know what good that does me. I, I need to think about what's in 
probably a pretty good hand. Let's not do that. Ugh, that was so stupid. Can't believe I did that. Why well, didn't man that could have been so good? What did I even reveal? I guess it did get me another No, it was just bad. Well, it was kind of a cruddy hand coming up, but Ugh, I'm so stupid. I'm going to buy Dutchy. Mm. think if they miss province ever I'm okay um but the well that's that's pretty that's probably overstating the issue or overstating my dex capabilities Okay, that's that's good. Well, obviously. This is a decent reveal. They're going to toss the envoy, but probably they may not. This is a tough. This was good. It was all bad basically and now all good or a lot of good. So They'll probably toss one of the... Okay, they gave me the ghost town. That probably helps quite a bit. Now they'll give me probably the invoice, but that's fine. We're getting a little bit of some trashing done now. Um, <clears throat> not really good enough, um, to be honest, but it gets us somewhere. Starts to get us somewhere. They have another embassy, right? Or now they do. Okay, they didn't draw on. Okay, they get to... But just one ghost town, so... <laughs> if they leave ghost towns, I cannot redraw them at the end. <laughs>
So it's sort of an interesting thing. I cannot actually draw ghost towns to, that are discarded. Now granted that may be only one, but... <clears throat> Okay. Okay. This is certainly something. I wonder if I can province. That's kind of risky. <laughs> um <clears throat> um This is the very good turn that I've been waiting for. I'm trying to think if I go for... I don't really know what the... don't really know what the play is as far as when to go for points. Probably you only just go for it when you're winning. <clears throat> Let's say I province now. Um But why? <laughs> I mean, I can score These could have all been on fours basically. So it could have been like 12 points or something. <clears throat> 22, they go to 38. They go to 38. I just have to get 10 points and you know that's pretty appealing. Okay, this is good. I don't know if it's good enough. I probably shouldn't have taken the province. I probably should have taken road network or something. They only get duchy. Okay, well now we're just... We're just going to have more points than them. <clears throat> they can deny Ghost Town. Like I said, they can deny one Ghost Town.
That's three or four. That's four down. I'm not sure on all their envoy choices, but I wasn't having to make them. So my envoy choices were less consequential and yeah, just in general, not that a big a deal. Hmm. I'm not sure the 5-2 is all that good. You can do Doctor, but you need to buy Quarry probably. Really badly, actually. It's not clear to me. <coughs> I mean, if you get the really good Doctor draw, then... That's, that's one thing, but... Um... Because you have to figure out a way. You can do Big Doctor later too. Potentially. Query opening is great, of course. I think I will just do a Butcher. It's really unclear to me. Um, this is bad. I don't think you, well, probably one silver is okay. It's not actually clear to me. Well, this, okay. <laughs> if you get this draw, then, you know, good luck. If I could go on a state quarry by quarry, then I would have felt Okay, there's not really a world where I can do that, but across the course of the shuffle, I guess, is what I meant. That's the only sensible thing that could be meant, so let's pretend I meant that, although who knows. Um, that would have taken quite some luck, too. <clears throat> it looks like they're getting a pretty good doctor, unfortunately. Um, I'm getting this thing again, this situation again. I'll probably just buy another quarry. Um, I don't know. We're not like necessarily out of it yet, but it's kind of progressing that direction. Depends on where we draw the quarry and the doctor and such. If we get a big doctor, what the trash looks like. It's not a good look to open the butcher and then not find any estates. That's going to make the butcher opening look um, like complete garbage. So, you know, what can you do? Um, I'm going to assume they don't have the doctor in hand, that or their... Maybe they do have the doctor in hand. They're thinking really hard about what they have left in deck. Um, <clears throat> it may be that they drew doctor with a bunch of estates and they're worried if they name copper that their money will be too low. That's possible. But I think they could quarry into something still just fine. I guess if they hit three coppers, then that's an issue. So maybe that, no, okay. I don't know what their problem was. Oh, well, they saw the silver. There was really, like, no, I'm not sure. They were probably just thinking about their buy, like any, like anyone would. Probably get second quarry, I guess. I'm not sure if I go for a third quarry or not. Kind of tempted to. Just on the... 
Well, I mean, I can put... How many will I get? One, two, three, one, two. I can trigger. Though, what is in there? It's pretty scary, actually. Um, I can choose not to trigger. I can just do the three trashes. Save a coffer. Oh, that's all I have anyway. Well, I'm going to say this is worth it. <clears throat> Hope they don't find the... We're getting four forms here if we're... Well, not if we're lucky. We can for sure get four forms here. Um, I trashed. There's two estates, a quarry, a butcher. Two estates, quarry, butcher. And I guess three coppers. That can't be right. Cor two, a quarry is two estates, butcher. Wait, I just trashed you. Oh, it is three copper. I guess we named copper. Maybe we get really lucky. This is the, here's the dream scenario, right? We name copper. It trashes three coppers off the top. How did that happen? Unbelievable. Then we buy four forms and a wall village or whatever. We draw... Okay, that didn't happen. <clears throat> we draw the form, you know. <clears throat> um... Hmm. There go the rest of those. How do we do this? Do we get a barge now? Do we get a barge now? We really need a barge. We need a silver. We might like a silver. Well, we don't really need a silver. But. Probably fine to have a silver. I guess if we were using the. Uh, the forums to get doctor stuff. Then maybe we just do copper. Uh, I don't know. Oh my gosh. Well, we lose. That's a bummer. That's sad. Well, they didn't have much of a turn. We still probably lose. We probably needed them to not have a turn and then me to have a turn. It's probably what was required for... <clears throat> uh, for for takeoff at this, at this juncture. Um, the buy situation is going to be a problem for me. <clears throat> now look at all these.
They got these walled villages with buy and stuff. stuff. They don't have three quarries, though. I have three quarries. That's exciting. I probably need to figure out a way to... Well... Maybe I needed a walled village rather than a... Or like an upgrade. Rather than another barge. The other the barge by here is looking pretty poor. Unfortunately for me. Um it yeah, upgrade seems reasonable. Yeah, this is not gonna work out, I don't think. They can just the, the wall villages still cost zero for them, so they can empty those and then next turn they can empty whatever they can province they can empty the walled villages i needed to get i needed to seaway one of the forms or something to have threat realistically um i don't know that it would have cut it but i'm good at giving me you know plausible threat but yeah they can empty what did i how much money did i have two forms two quarries so i did still have a coffer right so i could have gone seaway of forum instead of form forum barge and then i would have had five forums with uh plus buy six seven buy then at least the the bar they couldn't empty the wall villages but as it is, I think it's totally safe. I mean, I unless they dud, I don't know what they did with their other barge. They drew, so unless they dud. Um, I think province, and they don't even have to lower, they don't even have to empty the wall villages. They can just buy enough to have, um, have the buys to pile the next turn, which isn't that many. And they can butcher a forum for another province. Yeah, they're fine. I would just province pick up however many wall villages makes you comfortable, three or four, get another barge. I mean, surely you at least go low enough to be able to empty. I mean, I guess if you're worried about it. I mean, if I get two turns, if you have a dud, and I get two turns, then I probably can pile anyway. So that doesn't seem to be worth too much worrying over <clears throat> I don't really have villages either yeah I mean uh, I mean I would have provinced but maybe they don't they don't really have to I guess uh, now if I had seaweed something they couldn't have done this So, I don't know. Now I don't now my plane for a dud looks a little different. Or it can look a little different. I mean, they're not going to dud probably. <laughs> um I already have a terrible draw. So now we don't get to gain another village off this. I have this other barge in here, but it's going to go unplayed, basically. It doesn't have to go unplayed, I suppose. Um, did not... I gotta play for a dud. What is it? I'm gonna need to seaway something. Um... While provincing, I guess. Don't know. I 
don't know why I played that for him. So I gotta, so playing for dead for me means, well, I don't know what it means. Frankly. Um, sure, an upgrade. All right, they didn't, uh, GG. <laughs> we'll, we'll have them draw a little bit more, but I don't need to watch the whole thing. They didn't get another Cory, I guess. But still, they have four dollars. Oh, they have another butcher. I was so confused. I was so confused. <laughs> I thought they did that and just lost, but they have another butcher. They also had way enough money to just do whatever. Oh, there was alliance. I I forgot about alliance. How fun. All right. Aku takes that one. That was, uh, I don't know. I had a few bad draws, but I probably made some poor, poor choices as well. I don't have any, like, well, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I should have never bought that silver. Here I have... 5-2 again, though this time there is a better situation. For sure. Um, can demand a scrap. <clears throat> um, probably the play. They also have it, but in the worst way. So, yay me. Um, I guess I could trigger. I know I'm drawing a copper. <clears throat> and you make the scrap miss, of course, though you're pretty likely to get to demand again, which is cool. Not guaranteed, but fairly likely. Hmm, that's an interesting question. You give yourself a shot at a mint. How bad is the case where you don't draw? Like, what are the bad cases? Or the, you know, the sufficiently bad cases? You're not that likely to draw the five again, actually. Well, okay, two two out of five, right? You're going to have four on top, and then you're just going to have whatever you... Oh, there are three. There'll be three. So it's 50-50. The state is okay. The scrap draw is pretty bad. Um... What else is pretty bad? You can put a horse in and make it a little better. Um, okay. Well, now we're just cooking.
Let me think. So we can put... Obviously not our dream draw, but still totally fine as a draw. Maybe it is our dream draw. Okay, I mean, I would have taken trashing an additional copper. This could go kind of bad, depending on if we find the scrap or not. I don't know, there aren't really nightmare scenarios. Even buying village is okay, so... Because, yeah, th this is pretty much fine. Regardless. <clears throat> this is... Scrap mint. I don't know... <clears throat> I think there's a question of whether we would like to keep the mint, actually. Um, at least a little bit of a question. For me... And also just a chance to gain a silver. That should come quick enough. Hopefully. Um, if they have a good draw, they can catch up, but probably if they don't, then I'm one, but also probably I'm dumb enough to mess this up, so. I think we'll go ahead and scrap the mint. I think we can use the coin. They mint. They're kind of similar spot to us. Do we want to sort? What is the likelihood of using buy? Like pretty small? Not zero, I guess. Probably don't want to silver yet. Okay, we did get a bit of the sad draw, but now I wish I had a silver because I can. It'll work out. They don't have a village yet. We'll be good. We will be okay. We could double village. I 
just for safety. There's definitely something to be said for being able to say uh, mint golds here and feed them to your scraps, but I think you can just get by with your wayfarers and be fairly happy. I do need another scrap now. Um... I think they buy two villages, okay. I wish I hadn't had to do that. But. All right, what do we got now? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we can double demand if we gain this one. There is something to be said for thinking about sauna to get those coppers gone, but probably not the play. Um, there may be a point for canal as well, but I guess you don't really want to demand a scrap that badly, but, well, you'll have some silver. That's what you're hitting it with anyway. So there, uh, I probably just have the half turn. Um, roughly. I can take the village split. I want. I don't know. This could be tricky. Yeah, I pretty much just have, well, I do have an additional wayfarer, and plus the half turn. But otherwise, we're quite even. Okay, so similar. I gotta think. What do I want out of these silvers? They don't need to replace themselves necessarily. Um, we didn't have to keep the horses either. 
Main thing is buy, but how much money is the question. Okay. There's a Wayfair down here. I'm not sure the canal's worth it, <laughs> to be honest. Um, it's compared with two demands and a... It does make triple province easier, which could be nice. Um... Maybe should have been a sauna. I don't know. It's hard to say how much value you get out of removing the last, uh, the coppers. Hard for me to say anyway. I do have to get, depending on how they green, have to be in position to triple. I mean, that's going to be fairly important here. I probably am greening this time. I mean, if you can double... You just the problem is just gonna be the draw of the next turn, like you can just die <laughs> easy. Um you single and they double, you can single again, they can double and you're still okay. As long as they don't triple, which I guess I don't know how likely that is for Aku. Depends on the canal.
They're, just, they're a little behind on the money. Guess if you have canal, then you can demand honey lodges and it works just as well as a village. I don't think they can province with $11, but they're also in just a kind of awkward spot. We can probably green. Um, we can probably single canal and demand something. Have to watch it all. Two wayfarers is all good. Didn't add that much money over the course of the turns. Okay. Well, I'm probably doing some of these at least as is. I'm trying to find another Wayfair first. Get up to four buys. Ten, twelve. Hmm. I mean, I can choose, I guess it's a question of whether I want to maximize money or what here. Pro or canal, we could demand. Canal, we could province. We can demand, that's $14. I just have 12, 16. Total fourteen, sixteen dollars, eighteen dollars. We get to twenty, then we have a couple threes we can pick up as well. Though no demanding, so that's a little scary. I guess we could get a bunch of scraps and a province. What if we did three scraps and a province? Then we'd be up to seven buys. Mm, that's not that exciting. Mm. I think this goes either way. Just the rest of this we have to figure out. Is 
This is fourteen sixteen dollars. We can try and force them to green first. The only issue is whether they if they can double or triple, I mean. <clears throat> that would throw a wrench in the plans. Eh, I don't know about this. Card. Not real sure. Canal would leave me with nine. Could wayfare once. Or not wayfare, you know what I mean? Could demand once. They only have three buys. Uh, or no, I can't. Dem yeah, yeah, I can. I'm worried that I'm just mucking around too long here. Terrified of it. That there's some world where they get to triple, I guess. Double and then triple. But surely they can't draw it. I don't know. It's scary. Um, I usually, when there's games like this, I'm usually doing something stupid with the scrap. Like, I'm playing the scrap choices in some way to, like, 
I know like I'm failing like the way one of the wayfarers didn't draw a card I think last turn which means I could have had another coin or something instead of card on that one um some of the sequencing is harder to do but or sometimes you don't know at the point where maybe you feel like you should play it, but I think I am like certainly missing out on some resources. Maybe it's a horse, maybe it's a coin, whatever it is. Seems pretty clear. You know, I didn't I haven't been watching the silvers, which is kind of funny. I don't think they'll empty, but we could see that happen. Depending on how long the game lasts. Okay. Okay, single is not too scary. Um and no canal is not too scary. They don't add buys and uh, yeah, so anyway, I have five buys I think, but uh that's not really gonna get used. All I wanna do here I think is double province den. Um I guess two dens if I have that much money, though that seems uh, not possible. But but anyway, we could think about a demand of a hunting lodge instead of a den. That might be better, depending on if we have the money. Um, Now we're at the point where the scraps on silvers, you may not want to buy this turn. Um, they still only have three buys, so we can, we can also lower stuff angling for a three pile uh, if we can score enough. Um, so we have to think about that because we could get a couple scraps maybe if we draw we're fine they may double uh Oh no. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. I should have, uh, well, okay. There's a million should haves at this point. I should have probably scrapped the first. Okay, okay, okay. We can still win this. It's a night, sort of a nightmare, but we can still win it. Um, the, uh, <laughs> this is just me to a T so we're up to 22 okay so we would like okay <laughs> so stupid what did I just what did I say I wanted to do? I mean I can still do it. So now I'm at 1820. I'm so dumb. We can still do it. I wish I weren't so dumb. Um
There's a question here, actually. This this one could have been coin gain a horse or coin buy, and then we still gain a horse. Let's do it that way, actually. Does that seem better than the den? I think it does. I think it does. I'm so stupid. I'm not even sure it was bad. It just was stupid that I didn't realize it. I just didn't know. I'm not sure it was like strictly a bad decision because the canal is still doing some work for me here, but whether it's doing however many scraps being worse amount of work, I don't know. That's the question. Um, but the good news is I have probably will be able to triple, um, ouch. I don't know what to say to it. I think he was lost anyway, but well, I mean, I guess I could still have dudded. Um... That is just a nightmare draw. <laughs> like, unbelievable nightmare draw. I wonder if people thought... I w well, ch chat or Discord, Discord didn't think that I undid the canal because of the scrap interaction because I didn't say that at all. Because I wasn't thinking of that. But I wonder if Aku, when he first bought Canal, thought, oh, he's going to mess up his scraps. And then I undo it. And he's like, oh, he realized. And then I bought it again. He's like, oh, this guy's just, just an actual idiot. Um, I don't know how much money he has in hand. I mean, he probably has double province worth. But, oh, wait, no. I guess a lot of the silvers are in the discard. Well, some of them. Um, anyway, they don't even have single, I guess. What are all the other cards? You know, just like scrap and... Well, I guess it wasn't... F well, maybe. I don't know what he means by this. If he means that there are four villages and a horse in here. Probably not probably some of them were in the three cards he drew so it was eight cards but still yeah i mean it was in the because he would have more money if it were literally those things bottom deck that's how i yeah yeah he just meant in the bottom eight i mean those in the bottom eight is also a nightmare of course well obviously anyway i'm probably totally fine here if they can't province and I even if I just double, they're not tripling. Anyway, I can surely triple. I shouldn't say that. It's really not safe. I'm gonna see a few cards, but can they buy a canal? Um now I wonder about the it's got to be better to just play the hunt, play the Wayfarer as itself. Like what I can decide is whether I want to gain silver. That I don't know. Um, how far off was I of triple? Not super far. Um. 
I don't actually know if I can even draw around to these cards. I had one Wayfair unplayed and probably some amount of horses unplayed. Okay. But we did draw three to them. I mean, I guess at this point, might as well take the silvers. So we go card by, and then the last one's a silver. I mean, triple is also not, like, done. It's not, like, game over, but I'm going to have my dead hands will be able to buy provinces, surely. I say that. Um, so it's silver down here. So if I go card action, I can lose a scrap, I guess. I'm trying to think if there's a way for me to trash copper. That's basically the only question. I go card action. What does that even get me? And I basically have the same hand. It just means I don't have a silver top deck, pretty much. I have $22. I have to go. Yeah, and this will buy a province almost certainly. I mean, I speak a little early, but this is not a good board to try and come back on either um the their deck can't hold provinces and all right well we made it out with four two um some of them were close enough it would have been nice to get a little more but i can't complain overall of course um very happy to get four off aku of course so all right, good start of season. Hope you enjoyed it, and I will catch you all later.